A Derby woman who is fighting cancer has been sentenced to two days in jail, and the reason might surprise you. Case Gloria Van Race is here now with more on her story. Gloria? Jim, a grandmother with terminal cancer, is in a Sedgwick County jail tonight because of THC in her system. That is the active ingredient in marijuana. But the THC was in her system because it is a medication her pharmacist says she needs while on chemotherapy. Angela Kastner has terminal colorectal cancer. Cake News spoke to her last night before she reported to jail for a 48-hour sentence. She is in jail as the result of a DUI, although she had nothing to drink. Because I had zero, zero three Marinol in my system that the doctors in Oklahoma gave me because I'm fighting cancer. I've been fighting cancer five years. Marinol is an FDA-approved medication for cancer patients. It helps them keep food down. It is a synthetic form of THC, but it is legal. According to her pharmacist, the amounts in her blood are not enough to make anyone high. The time she'll spend in jail will force her to miss a chemotherapy session. The missed session will force her to restart the whole regime. Her doctor's not happy. I miss my chemo tomorrow and I miss my doctor's appointment with my, my heart doctor on the Thursday. Her niece, Crystal Fleming, is doing her best to help. She's all I've got. Yeah. Uh, my dad passed away and um, she's all I've got. Kastner is coming forward with her story now so other cancer patients won't have to experience the same legal treatment. I feel sorry for the next cancer patient that has to go through anything that I've went through. They shouldn't have to do this at the end of their life. Fleming is just hoping with her suppressed immune system due to chemotherapy that her aunt won't get any worse. When a person doesn't have very long or they're told that they don't have very long to live, you know, um, and then you think, okay, there's two days left that I get with her. Kastner did plead no contest to the DUI charge. In a document obtained by Cake News, her doctor says if chemotherapy does not work, then she will need hospice care. Jim.